Hi guys, this is Baku. Today I'll show you uh, how to do the Thunderforge scenario, the Rathion Legendary Quest in 5.2. I'm just going to show you the last part because that's the hardest. Um, the rest should be fairly easily done as a Fury Warrior. So I'll just skip ahead, you know, to the part where you die and you die and you die some more. <sighs> Just keep trying. Of course, you can only die so many times before your gear gets screwed up. In case that happens, you're gonna have to quit the scenario, get repairs and start all over again. As you can see, I took some strength flask. I've got a bunch of health potions with me and mogu power potions. And for the start of the fight, I took some dodge food. Why dodge? Well, this Sha guy, he comes after you a bunch of times and you want to prevent as much damage as possible. One key word for this fight, avoid. When you manage to avoid all his abilities and be able to move on time, you'll be just fine. First ability is called Shadow Crash, which will target either you or the defender. As soon as you see this spell being cast, move and go back after it hit. The second ability is called Insanity. While he casts the spell, you need to take that time to run to a charged forge and click it. This will interrupt the cast and you will be fine. If you don't do this, you will die. He does an in-between ability called Shadow Burst, which is pretty much the same as Shadow Crash, only there's no target, so just make sure you get away from the boss. Third ability is chasing you. Just try to run away from him. Don't worry if he gets to you, he doesn't hit all that hard, and at some point the defender will taunt him back. In between, try to do as much damage as possible. Blow your cooldowns, do whatever it takes, because you only have seven forges. They will not recharge, and you need them to interrupt the insanity. Fourth ability, Meteor Storm. As soon as you see a white patch under your feet, start running. Ignore the ads, just keep avoiding, keep running, keep moving. Don't stand too close to the white patches already there, because the splash damage will hit you quite hard as well. As you can see, as the fight progresses, one ability will follow the other pretty quickly, so you need to stay on top of things all the time. As a warrior with obvious healing problems. I find it quite useful to spec impending victory in your talent tree. Uh, this will make victory rush usable at any time. If you see a green beam and whenever you have a chance try to stand in it, it will heal you. And that's pretty much it. Rinse and repeat. Enjoy the rest of the fight.
When the boss has reached 20% of his health, you will get the staff back from Ration. You should click it, then you get an extra action button. You hit it, and you're done.